Hey guys, this is Nathaniel again. We're going to take a fresh look at this 1974 Grand Banks 42 called Eight Life Grand. She is a grand vessel. We just dropped the price to $94,000. Let's go take a little walkthrough. All right, here's Ain't Life Grand. She is looking quite grand from her single bow roller with CQR anchor. It's got a big old custom radar mount. She's got the steady and sail gear, but no sail at this time. And beautiful windows. The bright work on this boat is in really nice shape. It's been covered pretty much its whole life. There's some spots where the covers didn't cover everything up, but otherwise she's looking nice. All looks great. Looks like she might be wood, but she's not. This is fiberglass boat. I think the first year uh, that they did do fiberglass throughout the duration of the year. All right. Aft cabin, she has come with this dinghy. Walk aboard, ain't life grand. Uh, first things first, you know, we walk around the whole boat. All right, here in the aft, we have three hatches for the lazarettes. Uh, back here, you'll find two large water tanks, the steering gear, cable steering on this vessel. Plenty of room to put all your stuff. Back here, teak swim step, looks 18 inches, and uh, steps to come up the back. We've got the name of the boat covered up. You'll see that in the pictures on the listing. An old Johnson, I think that might be a military issue, Johnson. And this is an 03 uh, West Marine rib. A little deflated now, but might be okay. Here you see the boom for the steadying sail, uh, which you would also use for launching this rib. Um, there is a windlass back here, which functions properly. And here we go as we walk further around. Great thing about these Grand Banks 42s, single level all the way around. Ideal windless. I think that's a 35 pound CQR, if I remember right. And a little view of the vessel. There's a radar up to this boat that doesn't currently have radar. Uh, I'd be able to use that antenna, but uh, most likely it's an upgrade to the newer system all around. power inlet and let's walk up to the flybridge first nice easy steps this boat's easy to get around it's one of the nice things you know just a little portable dock box and classic grand bank seating two benches fore and aft facing and yeah, that's where the radar used to be. Um, I just patched that up and put something new in. There's the Benmore autopilot. Uh, that is inoperable as far as we can tell. We might be able to salvage it. I do believe those units um, are rebuildable and the company is up in LA and uh, still around. And there's your knot meter, signet knot meter, and log. Um, VHF, newer, and there's your depth sounder. Over here, we have a ship's phone. Start the motors up here, and here we go. wheel, and then here we have our tack. 
uh, charging status, oil pressure, water temperature gauges. windshield up here keep you sheltered from the wind and this does feature an extended bimini um, so it covers the entire flybridge which is pretty nice you know, two full hoops there um, it does have the uh, the twisties uh, so if you wanted to do side curtains you could but it doesn't currently have the side curtains Here's your anchor light up top steaming light spreader lights here and more. There we go. There we go. Let's go check out the salon. All right. Here we are in the salon. Big, wide open spaces, huge windows, galley up design. Look at this dining room table. Very nice. Um, this table's pretty cool. You can see that it's mounted <clears throat> to this engine hatch and it's offset. So right now, and you can raise it up and down, right? And so this is the position that you'd have it in if you were gonna drop it and convert this to a berth, all right? Um, or also just for dining, I like, I like it like this. This is how I would probably normally have it all the time. You can rotate the hatch and the table 180 degrees and then it goes further away and so some people might use that as say a coffee table but you've got options. Here on this porch side you got a ton of space right whether it's prep space or plenty of display space for having a party and then a lot of storage over here as well so you got these there's your microwave some storage all right some more storage plenty of storage on this boat and this one it keeps the trash can in there and then over here Another compartment for your taller things. Um, ice maker. And then here, of course, is the famous Grand Banks whiskey bar. Oh, in perfect working condition. And four drawers to stow your alcohol accessories. that window um, all right here's your depth sounder um, engine stops gas shift compass up top your VHF little speaker for the stereo system in here um, here are the gauges same as up top, but we do have, in addition to what's up top, uh, we have your hour meters. These hour meters were replaced. I did some forensic work, and these uh, motors have approximately 300 hours on them. Um, those hour meters fail often, um, but according to maintenance records, it looks like approximately 3,000 3, hours on these motors. Um, and this boat has Amarines, uh, which was... American Marine, the manufacturer of Grand Banks, um, marinized version of a John Deere tractor motor. I think uh, 117 horsepower on these, and um, they're in good shape. They actually uh, just had oil changes and the and the gen set as well, and um, they're looking good. Also, new batteries and new charging system on. This boat, here's a Sub-Zero single fridge uh, with freezer unit up top. Then, of course, you have your ice maker, like we said. Plenty of opportunities for a great time. Look at this cabinet. Always plenty of room for cups on a Grand Banks. Ah, nice. Two 
basin stainless sink. Here we have access to the propane range. Classic Force 10, in great shape. Nice and clean and tidy. And then down here, we just have plenty more storage for your various kitchen implements. All right. Um, this is the Xantrex. Like I say, this boat has upgraded charging and inverting capabilities. Um, so this is the, the monitor um, and inverter control. And then, but down below, uh, oh, let's look in here too. Another little storage area. And over here as well. V birth. This is a good shape. I don't see too many signs of water intrusion below these windows and you do have a nice large opening hatch above. Um, this boat does not have any sort of filler here. You just have a step up, um, six drawers, hanging locker, and uh, the propane canisters are in here too. And then here is the forward head. In the forward head you do have access to the back of the electrical panel. nice bit of cabinetry, vacuum flush uh, heads, uh, these ones were replaced approximately 2015 and um, this boat currently does not have a shower head in here but I'm sure you could replumb it to have that if you wanted to. Um, there is a track as well on the ceiling for a, um, a shower curtain. All right, and you can access the engine room from back here as well. Um, and this whole room easily shuts off from uh, the salon. So you do have a really a nice separate living area um, for your guests up in the uh, forward stateroom. This goes up, and then you can access the engine room below the stairs. All right, let's go check out the aft cabin real quick. Dun, 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 dun. This owner was really cool. He's got some old you know, Chapman's, some old books. And uh, my name is Nathaniel. I was named after uh, Nathaniel Bowditch by my father, who was a Naval Academy guy. And um, but I didn't have a copy of Bowditch. So, oh, Bowditch is uh, he wrote the American Practical Navigator, which was a required text in my at the Naval Academy when my dad was there. He said it was his favorite book. Um, and so the owner of this boat gave me his copy, which was great. But let's talk about the boat. So here we go. Um, this vessel, you can see here, this stairway, this ladder, used to be wider. It was modified to be a little bit narrower so that they could make this port bunk larger. So that's a little bit wider, nice little modification that was pretty well done. And then this over here would be your twin berth. Nice big chest of drawers here. Plenty of storage. Let's check out the head. This head this is a big boy. Check it out. We've got a bathtub. Put your, put your booty there. Put your feet down there. Maybe just to soak your toes. And um, a little storage or access there, and then your shower, tons of mirrors, so you can watch yourself doing whatever you're doing, that's a nice 
storage under here as well. Plenty of room on this boat. These green banks are just so spacious, so well laid out. And the craftsmanship is just fantastic. Uh, yeah, just love them. One of the cool things about Grand Banks is uh, they were just really well built. Let's take a look in here. I mean, they pretty much all have teak decks from this era, but you know, when teak decks go, they get bad. Oftentimes, on a lot of old trawlers, you have soft decks because the teak decks have failed, and as the teak decks fail, All right, let's head down in this engine room. You can see on the top of these motors, they say Amarine 404 diesel. They say these are John Deere motors, dead simple. John Deere tractor motors. Um, this here is not a turbo. Uh, it's just the air intake. There you can see the Northern Lights generator, recently serviced. Um, you got some newer mixing elbows on both of these, both of these motors. Um, and this water pump. That's your water input. Uh, accumulator tank. This is a Seaward six gallon hot water heater with um, heat exchanger option on there too. So you can heat up your water while you're underway. And, and there's three large batteries. These are all pretty much brand new. We had a uh, Issue on the dock here where somebody flipped off the switch or something. Killed the batteries. So you just got brand new ones. Which is great. And a uh, new 12 volt DC distribution panel down here. Fantastic. Xantrex Freedom 3000 inverter charger. And a 20 amp charger as well. I believe that's for the Gen Set battery. And then here's your black water tank. Nice big poly tank. Look at those hoses. Those are new Sandy hoses, uh, which is great. And they didn't just do new ones, you know, for the ones that maybe were old and stinky, but that's like a new hose back there for the um, uh, pump out fitting. Just all new hoses all around. You can see that the two vacuum flush units there. Nice, nicely done. Um, another fun thing to look at on this vessel is the tanks. I believe this job cost seventeen thousand um, dollars. So take a look at these new tanks. Custom welded. This is often how they they do them. They'll make three tanks, stack them up, put them in. They didn't have to cut through the hull. They didn't have to pull up the sole. Um, they were able to wrestle those in here and I believe weld them in place. Uh, but not a cheap job to do. And take a look at the fuel. These are almost full. By my calculations, there's approximately $3,000 worth of diesel fuel in this boat right now. So take that into account when you bring a full price offer. Um, yeah, fresh oil changes. Um, you can also see... Um, this boat, the, the, the engine room was repainted, uh, most likely when they did the fuel tanks um, as well. So that's nice, just makes things a little nice and tidy. Um, and, oh man, look at this engine room. It's just simple, clean, spacious. It's very nice. Um, there's a new water pump. The old one seized up. All right. Well, she's a beauty. Thanks for watching this video and taking a look at this 1974 Grand Banks 42 uh, for sale in San Diego, California. We're on a Fiddler's Cove Marina in Coronado. And um, 
you know, she's ready for sale now. We just dropped the price a little bit. Uh, so give me a call, 619-313-3664. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or hit a like up there. Uh, I do appreciate that. It helps me out with a variety of things. And uh, have a great day. Thanks for taking a look.